Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus. It's Dana again. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I want to give you all a little bonus read, so let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the Collective of Taurus here with me, Spirit, and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about the Taurus, and what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, Ooh, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards the Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And how do they navigate for their very best and highest good? Right there. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Seven of Swords. Breaking free from a futile mindset. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Some kind of despair in the sense of well-being. Devil in reverse. Release your limiting beliefs. Princess of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands. Ooh, to the world. Look at that. Beautiful. That's all on the bottom of the deck. That will make hella sense to everyone in just a second. Woo-wee. First card out is the Two of Cups. Wow, to the Princess of Wands, to the Six of Cups, the King of Swords in Reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles. All right, the Prince of Swords, the Ten of Wands in Reverse, the Three of Wands in Reverse, the Queen of Swords, to the Seven of Cups in Reverse, the Hermit, the Hierophant in Reverse, Strength, the Moon in Reverse, the Nine of Swords, and the Magician fantastic the magician the two of wands in reverse the prince of cups and the ace of pentacles look at that fantastic let's see if anything else is coming here we need to ooh, we'll take all of those up till death as well absolutely look to the ten of swords and the ten of cups fantastic ace of cups king of cups high priestess we'll take all those too Three of Cups, we'll definitely take that. The Eight of Wands, holy schmoly. The Two of Pentacles, fantastic. And then the Hangman to the Queen of Pentacles, awesome. All right, let's do this. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Let's make some sense out of this. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on right here. This whole reading is about manifestation and the power of manifestation because we can manifest in our flesh and bone understanding of life just as easy as we can manifest in the soul's direction of our life, right? Your soul has been here since the beginning of everything. It's the same soul that took its first breath in your meat suit, and it's the same soul that's going to pick up when you finally when you finally leave. Okay? That same soul is inside of you right now. It's continuous, big, linear, continuous, never-ending, infinite journey of your soul. Whatever that is for you. Okay? It never stops. That same soul lives within you. And it constantly tries to lead you in the direction of your very best and highest good. So you can experience this journey not only in the comfort that makes life enjoyable, but also to, to complete, to do, to learn, to grow, to spread the word, to do whatever it is that your soul came here to do. Help, whatever. All right. You have to combine those two things. You have to combine your your you have to combine your soul in with your actual real flesh and bone life. And when you do that, you find the ability to manifest according to your best and highest good, pointing all of your elements, earth, water, air and fire all of your elements heart center towards what it is that you want to manifest 
okay? You can do this in your humanness, and you can do this according to your soul's path. And the choice is always yours. That's why you people, you know, all over the place that don't deserve what they got have it anyway because they believe they deserve what they got, okay? It's all about your mind. It's all about what you think becomes your reality, okay? That's why there's the name it and claim it philosophy out there, right? Name it and claim it, name it and claim it, poster boards, vision boards, all that kind of stuff, because the shit's real. You can create your reality by submerging yourself in the things that would be that reality, okay? What you think about comes about, okay? Now, all of that to say, this particular Taurus is manifesting something that is not in their best and highest good, all right? The Two of Cups, first card out, sets the tone for everything, a relationship. The Princess of Wands, there's some kind of spark, maybe communication. There's some kind of something going on, Six of Cups, with someone from your past. Either this Taurus is actively engaging in this right now, or this is to come in your near future. But someone from your past is coming back around again. But it's the Taurus that is manifesting this. Okay, how do I know that? Well, I'm fixing to tell you, all right? So, both of these cards are crossed by the Magician. I asked, is this someone else or is this the Taurus? And the Magician said... Taurus is manifesting this. Devil on top of it. But Taurus is manifesting this out of their humanness and not out of the direction of their best and highest good through their soul path. Okay? This particular Taurus wants to get back with this person from their past in a bad way. And they're, they're having, they're, they're getting the opportunity to do that. They are. Okay? All right. The Empress in reverse, this particular Taurus, the card of Taurus, by the way, Libra as well, but we're talking Taurus. The Empress in reverse, this is Taurus not being in control of themselves. This is Taurus being completely and totally submerged in a flesh understanding of life. The simplistic stupidity of the human understanding of things. Sorry to say, but it's true, okay? This empress in the upright, this empress is the culmination of the two lessons that a human being can understand to live a successful life. The first lesson is the magician. The first lesson is what you think about comes about. Your internal self-narrative creates your reality. Uh-huh. Second thing is the high priestess. That's the second lesson, right? Your ancient soul constantly trying to point you towards your true north so you can get done what you came here to get done. And until you conquer your flesh, you cannot get done what you came here to get done because conquering your flesh, your ego, your, your devil card, right? Conquering that is why we are all here. So this particular Taurus is out of control of themselves as the Empress in reverse because they're manifesting something from a place that is not in their best and highest good. It's what they want. They're overriding everything because it's what this particular Taurus wants. Six of Cups from the past. Strength comes on top of the Six of Cups and says, be strong and overcome this. Look to the star, your path, your purpose, follow your intuition, spin the empress in the upright and apply your spirituality to your life so the doors can be open to your path and your purpose. To the eight of wands and go past this. Go, little Taurus, you can do it. Go, go past this. Don't stop here. Why? The King of Swords in reverse. Because whoever you are getting back in with, okay, it's not true. 
number one, it's a misuse of your power in your life to do this with the King of Swords in reverse. But number two, the person that you are in cahoots with here, which is also represented by the devil, the person that you are in cahoots with here does not have good intentions. They're lying to you. They're not telling you the truth. They are um, taking advantage of the situation. Ace of Wands in reverse, they don't mean it. There's no effort going to follow through with this whole thing. Possibly a hit it and quit it kind of thing. Seven of Cups in reverse. This is about you coming out of the fog, right? And, and stop weighing your options and your choices in this situation. Come out of the fog, wheel of fortune, and follow universal order. Follow your guts. Follow the thread that makes you a piece of the tapestry of universal order. This is not in your best interest. But somehow, some way, you've created it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not in your best interest. The Wheel of Fortune says, turning point. Where's the turning point? The Nine of Pentacles. You knowing your worth and standing in your power. Knowing your worth and standing in your power. The Hierophant. Because the commitment that this situation is offering you, okay, Three of Wands in reverse is obstacles to your long-term goals. Lack of foresight. You don't see the damage that's coming. You don't see or understand because you think this person is the King of Pentacles, but this person is incapable of participating in the Four of Wands. Peace, safety, comfort, stability, happiness. They're incapable of participating in it, right? And you're all, hey, let's do this again with the Hierophant. Right? But this person's not capable. More importantly, the Hierophant is a major arcana speaking to you, is again the card of Taurus, okay? The, the card of Taurus. This is about spiritual wisdom. Look, spiritual wisdom, the divinely orchestrated steps of your path, your path, your purpose, the direction of your life, movement, action, change in the Eight of Wands. Why? Stand in your power with the Nine of Pentacles. Why? Because the person that you are doing this with is not worth you, okay? It's just not. It's just not. All right. Death in reverse comes on top of that and talks about a personal transformation. But the personal transformation comes from inner purging. What's the inner purging? Well, it's you recognizing that you are serving your human nature and not engaging with your intuition and your soul's path. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The Knight of Wands, inspired action, take inspired action, the fool, to keep going, new beginning, new journey, more importantly, a leveling up of your spirituality, because that's what it boils down to. You are being told, if this is resonating with you, you are being told right now that you are manifesting something that is no bueno to your life, okay? Absolutely no good for your life. You're manifesting it, though. And all of these cards are saying, keep going, keep going, keep going, stop, don't engage, don't commit, don't, 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 keep going. Leveling up of your spirituality by listening to what your guts are telling you. The Prince of Swords, communication. The Queen of Pentacles, um, security, title, home. The Sun, happiness, success, vitality, seeing clearly, and judgment. So the path to happiness, success, and vitality to, to be in a position in your life that is steady, stable, secure, knowing your worth, just like that nine of pentacles, that they're like sisters, right? Knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing that you are going to be just fine in life comes from making the hard line decision to draw a line in the sand and say it all stops here today. This Prince of Swords is your communication to the person. It's your communication 
to this stuff that's going on here, whatever, whatever the turning point in this relationship is, okay? Prince of Swords says, wrap your mind around a concept, it, a concept and execute it in your life. Queen of Pentacles, know your worth. The sun, see very clearly judgment. You need to make a very, very good decision in this situation. Use discernment. Ten of Wands in reverse to the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and avoid the burden and the struggle of unmet expectations. Remember, I told you over here, this you expect this person to be a King of Pentacles, but this person can't be a King of Pentacles. They, they're, they're faking maybe with the King of Swords in reverse that they can be a King of Pentacles, but they can't be a King of Pentacles. And these cards are saying, move on from this. Keep going. It's, 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 it'll stand in your way of getting the King of Pentacles. To the three of wands in reverse, a lack of foresight, you don't see coming. What you don't see coming, page of swords in reverse, all talk, no action, undelivered promises, ghosting you. This person, if this person has ghosted you before, this person will ghost you again. You will get exactly what you already got from this person. You'll get the same, same, same stuff, okay? Um, ghosting you, all talk, no action, undelivered promises, six of cups in reverse, stuck in the past. You're stuck in a place where this was, you're stuck in the place of this relationship that made you feel good. That's what you're stuck in. And whatever your issues are, and everybody's got them, all right? Whatever your issues are, this relationship soothed those issues somehow, some way. Okay, and that's what you want from this, and that's why you are subconsciously manifesting it. But it's not in your best interest to soothe those issues. You have to recognize those issues and spit them out so you can heal and move forward. So, why ever, however it is that you're in this situation. It's because of woundings that you have not addressed in your life with that Six of Cups in reverse right there. To the Four of Swords in reverse. Mentally restless, wondering where you stand. Again, being ghosted. Um, it is just the Four of Swords in reverse is about a lack of success. Mentally restless about a lack of success. So whatever happened between y'all last time is what's going to happen between y'all this time. Queen of Swords, stand your ground. Stand your ground. Have your boundaries, stand your ground, seven of cups in reverse again, and come out of the delusion that this situation could be any different than it was before, because this person is no different than they were before. Don't care what they tell you. King of swords in reverse, they're lying to you. To justice. It's in your best interest. It's in your best interest <laughs> to be accountable for the way that you handle yourself in this situation because you only have two choices. You are either going to go back into a pattern that you should have damn well outgrown by now or you are going to do something different, recognize this for what it is, follow your gut intuition and step away from it. Okay? The Hermit. Let's do some soul searching and some introspection. What are we going to do with that soul searching and introspection? The Hierophant in reverse. We're going to reevaluate our core root belief system for pentacles in reverse because you don't value yourself. You don't value yourself enough. And that's the core root belief system. That's that six of cups in reverse in the center of the reading right there. Yep, yep, yep. To strength got to overcome this. You can't succumb to it. You have to overcome it to the moon. This big, deep internal struggle because there is some toxic place that feels good. Like being in a beautiful hot tub that's just been pissed in by everyone. Yeah. The moon. Come into terms with the struggle between that what you know to be true and that what you just really don't want to accept as the truth. Because I'm here to tell you, going in your soul's path, doing what you came here to do, seeing this life as something more than just the avatar that we are, seeing it more than that changes things. And you can't see, you can't unsee what you see. And the moon card is 
the Achilles heel of every human because sometimes the path isn't really what we want it to be. This Taurus wants this relationship to be their path, but this relationship is toxic and it's not their path and it's not their purpose. But this Taurus is being given a choice in this moon card. Do you choose what you know to be true or do you choose what you want to be true? And that is the question. The moon in reverse says it's in your best interest to come to terms with that, to come to terms with the anxiety and the despair, ace of swords in reverse, that you're not remembering from the situation, that you're, you're just like all blah, blah, blah about this. But the truth of the matter is, is that this relationship is rooted in pain. You have the power to manifest anything you want in your life. Why would you manifest something that is painful, something that is toxic? Why? Why would you manifest this? Alchemist right there asking you that question. Two of Wands in reverse. Why don't you take your, ser your, your future seriously? The manifestation of this situation impedes your future. You can circumvent this whole damn thing by just bouncing out with the fool right now. If this is resonating with you, it's a general reading. You want your own cards, right? Hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. Otherwise, Ace of Pentacles. This new opportunity that you got going on here, Prince of Cups, This these feelings that you're sharing, the Ace of Pentacles again, this new opportunity, Five of Swords. Your person is still stuck in the same win at all costs possibly revenge mindset yes your person ain't right whoever this king of swords in reverse is right here they ain't right they ain't right in the head they're not tower in reverse avert disaster the sun in reverse you're not seeing clearly the eight of pentacles in reverse that this can't be worked out it can't be worked on and your unmet expectations will be the same death kill it Bring an end to it. See it for the devil that it is. See the devil in yourself that you are and stop manifesting according to your flesh and begin to manifest according to your soul. Bring an end to it so you can step through the portal into the transformation of your life. The wheel of fortune, the star, the fool, the hierophant, justice, judgment, the moon in reverse. I mean... Yeah, Ten of Swords. Bring it to an end already. Ten of Cups, you ain't going to get that here. Nine of Cups in reverse, you're only going to find yourself emotionally depleted. Two of Swords in reverse, you're at a serious crossroads that you don't quite understand. You don't quite understand what a serious crossroads you're at because guess what? Ace of Cups, King of Cups, and the High Priestess. The universe has different plans for your life, Taurus. The universe has different plans for your life. Yes, they do. The universe has lined up for you a King of Cups. New love in a King of Cups relationship. High Priestess says it. High Priestess says this is your soul path. This is what we need you to focus on. Not this stupid shit over here. We need you to focus on this, the Three of Cups. So you can be at the right place at the right time doing the right thing and not wasting your time in a situation that's only going to end up like it always has. Eight of Wands, movement, action, change, go in a different direction. Two of Pentacles, Balance this, prioritize this, make this a priority in your life, going away from this so the divinely orchestrated steps of your life can be rolled out before you and you can step into them with the understanding of the fool. The fool knows that he's always going in the direction of his best and highest good if he just closes his eyes and feels his soul. Yes. Your person, the emperor in reverse, the devil, the king of swords in reverse. Your person is shit, the chariot in reverse, and we're not going to help you get there. To the hangman, take a step back, reevaluate the situation, 
and step out on the other side. Cut yourself loose from the tree with a new perspective. What's that? The Queen of Pentacles again, that the path to happiness, success, and vitality is using good discernment and knowing your worth. The world, close down this cycle so you can step into the new cycle of your life. The Nine of Wands, fight the good fight. What's the good fight? Your soul's path, your true north, the direction that your life is supposed to go. If we would all just listen to that, everything would be so much easier, but we fight against it. I don't know why. The Page of Pentacles or the Princess of Pentacles, right? New beginnings, new things, new things will grow the devil in reverse. When you cut loose of this toxicity, of yourself, this warm place that this person soothes you with is toxic. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and you can't build your future here. To the Seven of Swords in reverse, break free from a futile mindset. Futile mindset, Taurus. Stop manifesting the devil into your life. Stop manifesting according to your flesh and begin manifesting according to your soul. Step into the power of the Empress. That's what she does. I sure hope this helps someone. Namaste. Do you want more wisdom, more guidance, more understanding? Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way. We will dissect the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose, with self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Despite what you have been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Who do you think you are and why?